What's good everybody, welcome back to Endzone A World Apart. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. In this video we're going to continue on with our playthrough of Endzone. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively guys. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. I can't do it without your guys help. So if you could smash that sub button and subscribe, uh, well, hit that sub button and subscribe. Yeah, hit that bu sub button and subscribe if you like. <laughs> no, hit that sub button and uh, like the video if you if you if you do like it. That is, if you don't, don't hit it. That's fine. Um, but yeah, if you want to get in touch with me as well, in the description down below is all my contact details. So you go check it all out. Uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well, then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well. It's a very handy little tool indeed. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> basically, in the last episode, we um, we sent our balloon out to another expedition, which to the back end of the last episode, we managed to reach our destination. So I, I wanted to save that for this episode, so we've got that to do. Uh, we've also got our um, settler's demand that we need to fulfill as well, which is the uh, this one here, sand mine research, which we're nearly there, as you can see. Uh, we're just researching it now, so we should get there soon. Beautiful. Uh, we need to get this done as well, because I want to try and get this done as well, if, if we can, in this uh, series. Uh, my main goal for this series is just to check out all the Distant Places part, because obviously it's the Distant Places DLC. So I want to have a look at that more than any of the other uh, game, really, because we have already done that in past series. If you want to go and check that out, check the playlists. I've got a playlist for each series that we've done on this. This is quite a few series we've done now, so yeah, go and check out the playlists for the previous series. Um, so I'll try and do this if I can, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, so, without further ado, let's check out this balloon. Let's have a look. Ooh, I'm excited. So we did the first one with, was it Len? It was slowly getting kind of edgy here, but that shouldn't stop us. Look at this gorgeous spot I found here. Yeah, it looks very, let's have a look. Very uh, wintry up north, okay. Yeah, so we've taken everything that we need to the entrance. Fabulous, isn't it? I landed here and knew I wouldn't be leaving this place so fast again. You've got to grasp opportunities where you find them. I'm sure you're able to help me get this door open. Uh, we will see, I guess. Let's have a look. Door lock. 50 scrap for that. Nice. Very good. The lock was worn down and a few deft moves was all it took to get it open. The waiting outdoors in the snow really paid off after all. Naturally, the passageway is still a bit dark, but I can't get rid of the feeling that we've got something very special ahead of us here. Okay. Sure it's dark, but what could be dangerous here? Let's go. Let's just go on through. Torches or darkness? Let's do the torches. The torch is burning. It's a good thing we got some light. The floor is full of junk everywhere you look. Now we can avoid tripping over everything. Ah, what a fabulous place. It's hard to believe, but this building probably used to be a kind of bar. Just picture it. Tables and chairs, a crackling stove in the middle, a little music, good conversations, long evenings. And a couple of good drinks to be had at the bar itself. A pub at the snow-covered end of the world. You know, I can hardly believe it myself, but a vision is planting itself solidly in my mind. My dear friends, we have to get the bar back in shape and make it shine like new again. Okay, Ollie. A good bar needs wow. electricity, of course. After all, there's a whole bunch of equipment standing here that would benefit from it. I brought along my trusty generator. We can make use of it. Would you like to pull it <coughs> from outside? Okay. There it is. Awesome. It ought to supply us with enough power to create some cozy lighting here and run one or the other piece of equipment too. Okay. Where should we put it? Hmm. There's junk and chaos everywhere. I let you have some say in the designing. After all, we're something like partners now. What do you think? Where should we hook up the generator? Um, I don't know. Looks like here. This one is, yeah, confidence seventy-five percent. Confidence, and this is a hundred. Put it here. One small step in the direction of my fully operational bar. Excellent. This option has already been completed. Generator. Let's click on the bar. No kidding. 
It's a bar. Even the right kind of stools are here. Are we lucky or what? This place is as if it was made for us. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's still good for something. You'll see it won't be long before the beverages are bubbling away here. But first, we have to look and see what this precious gem has to offer. Okay, let's have a look then. Small chamber or drawers. 90% confidence. 100. Let's do this one. Excellent. There's even storage space for utensils and glasses and bottles here. Not to mention the jam. <clears throat> jam? Sure, yes, indeed. Hasn't it ever crossed your mind to produce scrumptious jam? Why have I been perfecting my jam recipe all these years? For what? We'll get to that. But first of all, let's take a look at the closets and cupboards in here. I've only got six action points left, so and they said only 35% done, so you could have probably done with more action points. Let's go for this, 90%. Some food and liquor and stuff, nice. Let's go for the drawers. Okay, some more good stuff there. Nice, we've got some more tools. Excellent. The bar bit done. Uh, let's have a look at this. Lots of stuff. Uh, help him. Although I was able to get a very good look inside when I landed, there was no way for me to see this cluttered mess. But even so, I already know exactly what I'm going to do with this corner. What? Then again, yeah, this is it. The day customers are supposed to sit here and tell each other stories while they enjoy the delicacies this world has to offer. Come on, we shouldn't waste any time. Where do we begin? I don't know. Oh, wow, we've got loads of stuff here. Uh, trunks. You're welcome to take the stuff from the chests with you. It's just in the way here. It might not seem that way to you, but finding a place like this was blind luck. Nothing you'd find on an old map. For years I traveled with my balloon from place to place, and now this might just turn out to be a new home for me. Here, in the midst of the snow. Isn't that unbelievable? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Furniture? It's already a long time. It's a lucky thing you found me here. Nice. After I sent off my radio message, I waited in the snow for help. There was no way I could know if anyone would even receive it and then come and get me. And if I'd left, someone else might have grabbed this wonderful building for themselves. I would never have forgiven myself for that. Fair enough, mate. Let's have a look at the shelves. Great. This way nothing can crash down anymore. Speaking of crashes, it's not my first visit here. I ran into a snowstorm back then and had to make a forced landing. I thought my time had come. And then I spied a tower in the midst of all the raging snow. That was how I got here in the first place. Unfortunately, the door was locked. What's more, I was short on supplies and had to leave in a hurry when the snowstorm died down. Okay, so we've got one more action point and we've got heat. I hope it just takes one action point, please. It's probably not going to, but go for it. Yeah, it's actually pretty chilly here. Do you think we can get that big thing up and running? That ought to make it really nice and toasty for us. Uh, looks like it. I'll admit, it's a few years, uh, centuries past its prime, isn't it? But at any rate, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I'll have a look, I've got one action point, so I'll have a look. Ah, oh, it's gonna take two. No! Complete overhaul or clean. Seventy-five increase. Complete overhaul. I can already see that cozy fire crackling away. Then let's put on the heat. It just crossed my mind. Fuel would be a good thing. Did you see any here? I did here, but obviously I'm out. I'm gonna have to. There is still something to be experienced behind this option. I know, but I've got to go. I'm gonna have to come back. Right, let's loot and return and then we can come back. So I wanna take all the scrap. I wanna take all this food, that'll be very nice. Actually, I think I should be able to just take everything. So much stuff to take here. Yeah, I will be able to take everything. I'm gonna have to come back because obviously I need to take some more action points. <clears throat> right, so that's fine. 
sand mine is being done. We have got a drought coming up soon, which is interesting. Production limit is that way. We're about full on everything, aren't we? Probably going to need some more water, like another water tower. Um, but I might have to do that after the drought, I think. So let's speed up time. Uh, we have got a lot of people. We could do some more. Uh oh. How many people are sick? 41. Okay, we should be able to. 41. We've got 507 stored in there, so. <clears throat> that should be more than enough. They'll have to visit here. Get all sorted. Yeah, we need to get some more people, but I don't want to rush that. I'm definitely not rushing that. Uh, we're now in a drought. Uh, I'm trying to see what else we need. I'm trying to save some people back, because when we start unlocking some more stuff, we're going to need a lot of people. So, this is this will slowly be built. I'm trying to get rid of all the radiation that was over this way. I think it was just there, weren't it? Yeah. Yes! Arousing young ambitions. People are bursting into bloom. Excellent. That should have made people happy, you know? People, people not happy that we did that? No? So I should be able to do... Wait, hang on a minute. Should I not be able to do sand now? Sand mine. Uh, is it... I thought I could do that. Is it its own mine? I can't remember. I know we did the Prosperity DLC. But I cannot remember. Oh, sand mine. Yeah, it's its own thing. Does it have to be... Where does it go? It doesn't look like it goes in a... Has it got to be like an area of sand? I'm not going to put that down yet because I don't need it. I'm not in, I'm not interested in that just yet. I was just curious of where that was going to go, but I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, I think everyone's cured. Oh, one more person. Still got 507 out of 5. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, we are... What is this? Full on cloth. Okay, can I get these changed to... Let's speed up time there a sec. Get a load more builders because they'll get these fixed quite quick. We've got two on metal, two on cloth. Okie dokie. That's full, that's full. They're getting full. Right, when the balloon comes back, that'll bring a load of stuff back as well. Which is excellent. Um, right, let's have a look in here. <clears throat> Actually, does that... Let me slow down time a little bit. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. Well, I'm not too fussed on any of this just yet. I do want to try and do... Electricity be nice. Fish feed, sturdy house. Kitchen would be nice. Kitchen processes food into either hearty meals or the luxury items. Cake and stew. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to think in my head what would be the most beneficial thing to get here. I'm thinking electricity. That will make everything more efficient straight off the bat. The weather station regulates at which rain contamination level caught fence fields rain water collects are covered. Okay, what's a siren tower? A siren tower reduces the morale of raiders located within its range, requires electricity to function. Ah, so we need electricity. All energetic adults are educated. This degree consumes two knowledge accumulated at the disease. Okay. <clears throat> the settlers' consumption of herbs and medicine increases by 200%. This prevents the outbreak of new diseases. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Advanced school would be nice. An upgraded school fully educates children in all subjects. The educational training also occurs distinctly faster than at normal school. I think I want to do electricity. I think I want to do solar. I'm going to start that research. Because if we get a lot of power going, we can power a lot of these. At the minute, I am powering some. But it is mainly just by these wind turbines. That's 3, 6, 9, 12. And I can only power whatever's in um, sort of yellow is powered. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 50. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 50, 9, 50, 10, 50, 11, 50, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. So we've got 15 and 15 there. <clears throat> so I can't use them anymore. But if we get a solo, solo, if we get a solo collector, that will produce me 5,000 power, which will power a lot of our area over here. We can get proper cracking with that, so that would be perfect. Okay, that's full. Yeah, see, look, a lot of my warehouses are full, so I could do with sort of uh, upgrading them as well. Decontamination posts. See, that warehouse is nearly full. This one's got the sick person, okay. What's food like? Yeah, food's pretty good, right? Speed up time. I might end up having to make some more houses soon, I think. I want to wrap around this lake. <clears throat> right, now we've got some water back. I want to get another water tower. I do want even more water than what we've got. I can't fit it in here, can I? Which is a shame. I can fit it in there, okay. I don't think it will go this way, though, will it? Yeah, I could put it that way. Okay, so let's do that then. <clears throat> get one of them down. Some more water. I've got a little gap here, but what I could do is I could probably fill that with maybe some decoration or something. Like a little scrap totem here or something, or... Kind of like a little torch or something, I don't know. Figure something out there. Could I squeeze a house in there? No, it's just a little... Just a little too tight for a house. That's a shame. Just trying to see if there's anything else. That's way too big. I could put a wind turbine in there. That would be interesting. That would give me a bit of power. I could put like a couple in there. Actually, no, because... You can't put them close to each other. Look, it gives me only 40%. <clears throat> so I could put a wind turbine in there and it will power some of these around here. That's a good idea. Watchtower, obviously, I've already got some of them around there. <clears throat> Interesting, yeah. I think I might put uh, a wind turbine there. I could probably even put some more down like here. Like I could put one here. Just fill these gaps with some wind turbines, maybe. Uh, what do we like for people? Yeah, we've got a turn of people. Okay. Take them back down a little bit. Actually, no, let's keep them up because I've got I've got the people to do so. Uh, balloon is not even halfway back yet. Jeez. Right, so I've got the decam decontamination unit here doing that. That takes water and charcoal, that's right. Charcoal's pretty good. Um, we're not really producing a lot of... Pla Where's all the plastic going? Uh, let's do... Let's get a bit of extra plastic going. The metal's always handy. For the metal tools. I want to eventually want to try and, like, obviously power these. And then, obviously, I'll get to upgrade them soon as well. A lot for people. 437. Okay. I guess people's not really an issue at the moment. Like I said, I am going to wrap around this lake, though. I think that'll look quite cool. Uh, homeless settlers, okay. Not too worried about that at the moment. Let's speed up time. <clears throat> Let's get some stuff built. I'm getting that built. Water tower's done. Let's turn on the filtration. Okay, excellent. Just how far we can take this back. Can't quite. Yeah, I could get the well as well. Go there and get the well. <clears throat> okay, interesting. So that should be slowly clocking up with more water. Um, foods. Uh, foods dropping a little bit. I do have a hunting hut up here somewhere, don't I? 
hunting hut. No, there is a lot of there is a lot of food in and around town, but it drops quite quick. There's a lot of food down here. Try and grab some of that. Um, I'm thinking of more food. But I'd need to make another irrigation plant. Because it would have to cover here. Do I have... I have plum or cherry for that. Oh, we've got squash, beans. So what am I growing there? Lupine and squash. So I've got a beans one. I could do another two, you know. And use all our... Let's do it, because we've got a lot of people. So I could do a... Uh, we need to do a thing first, actually. Need a irrigation plant. Oh, I went down one, so I need to go like there. And put another one that I need to go about here. Okay. And then we'll put the road in before we forget. That road cuts like that, so I'll have to go like that and up. I'll cut across there. That can come down and cut there. Hopefully I've got enough room here now. I didn't really think about that. So we can do a maximum of 16 by 16. Oh, perfect. Put an orchard there. And then we need to put a road coming this way. I was going to say, I think we can even wrap that around there, which is perfect. Do that. And then we'll do a cultivation field with a 16 by 16. There. Another dirt road around that. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's, uh, what does that need? Need plastic. Okay. I do want to build that next though. Let's try and get some plastic going then. Why? Uh, right. Let's, let's proper double down on the plastic then. I mean metal's really low as well. <clears throat> Am I doing a bit too much building maybe? <laughs> I need this balloon back. This has got a lot of resources on it. A little water point there. A water point is continuously refilled with water and can shorten the walking distance for your settlers who want something to drink. That might have to be put somewhere down here, you know. It'd have to be somewhere like... Hmm. Let's put one there. Oh, what the hell is that there? A shrub. Did I put that down? <clears throat> I don't remember putting a shrub there. Alright, we'll keep it there. I think I'm gonna put one here as well. I don't know what they take. Wooden, just oh, just wooden scrap. Okay. So that can take from any of them. <clears throat> and then once this one's built, let's build that next. Uh, replace building. Less for people to walk, isn't it? I guess for water. And then it might maybe empty these out as well a little bit. Okay, so that's not a bad idea. Research has been performed. Excellent, we can get the battery down now. Uh, I need to be careful though because of uh, resources and stuff. Right, let's do this. Choose a seed. We'll go for 
Yeah, we've got cherries there, so we'll go for plums here. Plum. And then here we've got beans. Yeah, because here we've got the lupine, squash, hemp, and then beans. Alright, okay, so let's go to people. Uh, we need the irrigation. Farmers need to go up to 24. Uh, irrigation needs to go up to 4. Yeah, we've got a lot of people. That's what I'm, I'm trying to use the people. Uh, training Our oh, water point as well. Okay, let's up that to 9 then. Maximum people there. <clears throat> See, we've still got tons and tons and tons of people, so. What is this? Production stopped. Can you take me to the to the place? Oh, here. Okay. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to start taking some from over here. Because I'm going to want that area soon. Oh, the boat. Uh, the boat. The boat's back. It's not a boat. <laughs> Alright, so that's all our... There's a load of resources coming in for that as well. I do need to go back there, though. I was starting to plant the plum and the beans there as well, so it's extra food. Perfect. We just need a charcoal burner badge and ten wood. Okay. Oh, your charcoal burner and your settler. Perfect. <clears throat> we'll take the 10 wood. And then we'll go take that off. And we'll just go for all settlers. Because luckily for me, the settlers are not doing now. Which means they can be spared. Perfect. I don't need any tools or nothing. We're going to take... I'm going to take six action points. I want to get that completed, so I'm going to send them on their merry way. <clears throat> Excellent. Right, this should be being built. Let's speed up time a little bit. Let's hurry up and get this built. So we've got a water point here. People collecting water. This will be filled up as well. People can collect water from here. Have to grab. I should have two... It there. Grab from the well as well. So this should fill up water and then these should easily be able to get some water. Loads of animals are in and around. Loads of animals. Just get, yeah, get them from in there, sod it. <clears throat> right, these are growing nice. Are we looking for saturation? Yeah, we ain't got no water in here. Right, these only need to be medium. Not use too much water. Okay, got another place emptied. Okay, let's go here. We've got any more down here we can grab? Oh yeah, we've got tons. Tons of goodies. Uh, open expedition window here. we get this done a pub keeper explorer no one's got any badges really that doctor's one can we do this one what's this we've got a medic badge we have we've got a high education person take a couple of them because they're just normal settlers 
as a you, as a you. We need a farmer. You can go. Take some metal tools. Take another like six of them. Alright, we can send that one off. Sweet. We'll get that done because then we can mount that as salvage and like salvage that for scrap. That one's an explorer one. That one's going to take a little bit more time. Okay. Speed up time. What do we like for... People are good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. Skitty. Uh, we need metal. So plastic's back up to 64. Let's, uh, let's move all these back to metal. Okay, we need to try and get our metal up. I don't want to be losing any tools. <clears throat> what are we making? These as well. Okay, we're constantly not getting enough of them, though. Interesting. <clears throat> I'll keep that going though. We're sort of okay. Right, yeah, I want to get the solar panels going. Solar collector. Again, if I can fit it around here, so I don't think I can. That mountain's in the way. Damn you, mountainside. Uh, I guess we're coming down then. Where's the best place to go here? Okay, we'll hook that up there. Excellent. <clears throat> well, as soon as we get that going, we're gonna we're gonna be perfect. Your settlers feel com uh, comfy and won't be so quick to make any new demands. Sweet. We can just keep clocking these up, then can we? I'd like to get the battery as well, so we can store it. Um. I'm a little bit worried about doing that though because we're going to need more. We might need some for this. So I'm a little wary about doing that. Do I do I have a pub? I can't remember. I can't remember if I got a pub going or not. What what is it under? Logistics? A logistic community maybe. There's the beacon. Pub. I do have a pub. Okay, so we should be making liquor. We have nine. Okay. Can't make anything else yet. So we do have a pub. Okay, excellent. Right, guys. Unfortunately, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively, guys. So if you could show your support, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details, so you go check it all out. Uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well, then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well. It's a very handy little tool indeed. And uh, yeah, until the next time, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out.